All right. So uh, let's now talk about a circuit which is also called as a totem pole PFC. Again, it is sometimes called as totem pole bridgeless PFC also, right? Uh, let us again start from the uh, basic circuit, which was the basic uh, PFC circuit. Uh, which had four diodes connected in the bridge fashion followed by a boost converter. Right, let us start from this circuit and then try to derive this total pole PFC circuit. So this was the basic PFC circuit uh, which we discussed in, in video 11.1. Right. If you have not seen it, maybe you can just quickly revise it. So this PFC circuit, uh, if you see in the positive cycle, this inductor conducts uh, either through the switch or through the diode depending on whether switch is on or off. Right. Now if instead of connecting inductor on the DC side, if I take this inductor and if I connect it on the AC side, something like this. I still have the bridge as it was before and now it, since the inductor has moved there is still a switch there is still an additional diode which exists and so on so if you see i have not done much while moving from top to bottom what i have done is shifted this inductor from the dc side to the ac side how would things change? Uh, not much. For example, if you write the uh, differential equation for the inductor current when the switch is on, right? In the top circuit, you would see it as the input voltage modulus, whichever is positive, right? Uh, so let me, let's say I'm talking about the positive cycle. So the input voltage, let me consider positive cycle. So it's the input voltage. Uh, is equal to LD ability and when the switch is off it will be LDIL by DT is equal to the input voltage minus the output voltage. If you see the bottom circuit same thing is valid if switch is on assume power for unity power factor so that means if voltage is positive current is also positive in this direction and therefore when switch is on this is how the current will flow. Right, and therefore the difference that the, these, uh, if you consider ideal devices, the voltage is zero. So differential, still the same differential equation is valid. Equation number one. When switch is off, this inductor current will flow through this diode. Same equation two is valid. So if you see while going from one to two, if you are assuming all the components to be ideal, we have not changed much, except a small thing which really does not matter much but still I would like to point it out is that in the top circuit the diodes were conducting or were rather forced to conduct based on the input voltage polarity right so as soon as the input voltage polarity changes the diode the diodes which are conducting will also change here in the bottom circuit the diodes are more dependent on the inductor current polarity as long as the inductor current is positive diode d1 and d2 will conduct as the inductor current becomes negative diode d3 and d4 will conduct so in the bottom circuit diode conduction depends on the inductor current on the top circuit the diode conduction depends on the input voltage but because we are saying we are operating at unity power factor that means your input voltage and the inductor current are in phase therefore between the diode conduction also nothing changes when you move from the top circuit to the bottom circuit So, so, yes, if we consider non-ideal components, you try to analyze the inductor flux and so on, there is going to be certainly difference between the, these two circuits, but from an ideal, pros ideal view, uh, assuming all the components to be ideal, there is nothing much different between these two circuits. Okay, so let us further try to now uh, see what can we, how does this second circuit operates, right? Let us try to further explore it. So when this switch, let me call it as switch 4, no sorry, this is just switch S and this is diode 5. So when S is on, 
let me draw the equivalent circuit uh, for the for the positive cycle this is an inductor and then it just goes there and uh, through d1 so when i say positive cycle it means positive cycle of both voltage and current because we are talking about unity power factor so current is also going towards right direction so it flows through d1 and then it flows through switch and then it flows through d2 and that closes the path right this is when s is on in the positive cycle and when s is off this is what happens still it goes through d1 now it goes through d5 and through the output voltage then again through d2 right so these are the two circuits which which uh, you can see when switch is on versus when switch is off now let me try to draw another circuit and let us see if that circuit can give us the same operation in these two scenarios when switch is on versus when switch is off in the positive cycle so, so far everything is same So this is a new circuit which I have drawn. What is different in this circuit from this top red circuit if you see instead of one switch and a diode I have replaced bottom two diodes with both being switches right. Let me call this new switches as S1, S2 and the diodes as D3, D4 let's say right. Now in this circuit what happens when when both s1 and s2 are on you see this circuit becomes similar to this first circuit when when switch s was on in the positive cycle why we can both s1 and s2 are on in this circuit the current will go like this come back from here and go like this because S1 and S2 are short and D3, D4 will be reverse bias because of the output voltage. So it will become same as this circuit. On the other hand, if both S1 and S2 are off, so if you see S1 and S2 still have, if even if they are MOSFETs, they would still have an anti-parallel diode. So even if both of them are off, then it is just like a diode rectifier. So current will, if it is positive, flow through D3, flow through the source, come back through this diode and then go here. So this would be similar to what is happening in this circuit. So essentially, instead of one switch, now we have two switch, but the control and everything else remains the same. Whenever you close both switches, current rises in the positive direction. Whenever you open both switches, current falls. Everything remains the same. The only thing that has changed is in the original circuit, in this red circuit, there were three devices conducting at any instant. In this new circuit, there are only two devices conducting at any instant. So therefore, we are able to reduce the conduction losses, which was also the aim of the previous circuit, which we discussed in 11.3 video, uh, which is also the aim for this circuit. So, so if you see this circuit, similarly, you can validate also for the negative half cycle. I have shown you only for the positive half cycle. You can go back, you can draw the, the circuits in the negative cycle, what happens when S is on, S is off. And you can see that this circuit also behaves perfectly fine if it's a negative half cycle. So, so therefore, this circuit is certainly very popular and does the job of active PFC right without or rather with reduced conduction losses as compared to the conventional PFC and if you compare it with dual boost it requires only one inductor instead of two inductors and this inductor is being utilized throughout the cycle so so the utilization is also better as compared to the 
uh, dual boost bridgeless right so this is one realization you can also see that this circuit operation is very similar if you have uh, this is more of uh, left is more of a symmetric uh, realization if you have this kind of realization where you use one leg made up of active devices maybe mosfet or igbt and the other leg made up of diode and then the output voltage vo both circuits have very similar operation right left circuit we have already seen right circuit also you can see when when you want to uh, these are the diodes right in the right circuit when you want to have a uh, 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 zero state right the left side let me call it as zero state because the input is short circuit right so when you want to have the zero state when the input is short circuit let me call it as zero state and the right one let me call it as active state active state means the energy is actually getting transferred from input to output zero state means you are just pushing energy from the source to the inductor in a way right so so now in in the right hand side circuit uh, bottom circuit you can see that when you want to create a zero state zero state means you want this voltage let me call it as v1 to be zero in that case what you can do is if your current is in positive cycle right uh, uh, you just close this switch s2 anyways in the negative cycle current is supposed to flow like this positive cycle current will come down from the switch and it will create a zeros so the current will come from here go through the switch free wheel through the diode and come back from here so you'll get a zero so now instead of closing both s1 and s2 in the right hand side figure you can only close s2 in the positive cycle and create a zero state similarly when you want to have an active state just open s1 s2 both it's like a full phase rectifier you will have your active state back and for the negative cycle you use only s1 and not s2 right so there is small amount of difference in the left one uh, s1 and s2 can be tied together right uh, on the other hand in the right hand side in the positive cycle you use only s2 and in the negative cycle you use only s1 right that is the primary difference between these two circuits and both circuits if you see at any instance only two devices are conducting right and uh, again both circuits assume unity power factor operation or rather they are designed for unity power factor operation which means the inductor current and the input voltage are in phase right uh, so the, there is a limitation the limitation is that lot of time uh, what happens is you may have uh, you may want to flow power back for example let's say this output dc is being used to drive a dc motor right this output dc of this thing is connected to an armature right of a dc machine now obviously you want to push power here for which the circuit is good because the polarity of v in and il are same but sometimes you may want to push power back you may want to withdraw power from the source you may want to break it right or you may want to be a re you want to do a regeneration in that case you would like your input voltage and the current to be in opposite phases not in the same phases right which might not be possible in some of these circuits so and so this is one application so one one of the other application is uh, reverse power flow by power i mean the real power the other thing could be that you may want to operate at leading power factor so you may still want to draw the power let's say again take the example you are driving a dc motor so you want to draw power power from the grid right to drive the motor but let's say grid also along with supplying to your load which is whatever circuit you are using for this ac to dc conversion 
it is also supplying to some of your other household loads let's say it's also supplying to your fan right it also goes to your fan now fan if you see inherently is a lagging load it's a single phase induction machine so it's a lagging load there may be a lot of other lagging loads so you may want to operate this converter at a leading power factor so that this leading cancels the lagging effect and the net power factor becomes unity right so now the thing is that you can do something like this so therefore you may want your active converter to not just operate at unity power factor some point some point you may want to operate at a leading power factor also so these functionalities of leading power factor reverse power flow does not exist with these circuits and that is the reason we need uh, or or if your application requires these features to be there you have to use a little bit more uh, flexible circuit little bit more uh, degree of freedom in your circuit which can allow for these operations obviously in along with the basic operation which we started with which was an uh, ac to dc power flow at unity power factor right which this circuit was also able to do but so we want to remain this feature plus we would like to add feature number 1 and 2 and we would uh, explore a uh, circuit in uh, uh, next uh, few videos which can actually do uh, all of these three for us.